Hello Kyle's Garage viewers and welcome back to another video. It's been a very long time since we've talked, spoken, or I've made a video at all. But anyway, right here, you've already read the title and this is for you guys with the Subaru with a sloppy shifter and uh, I found a cheap part on Amazon and yeah, let's just jump straight into it and see uh, if this is a viable option. All right, here we go. The Amazon.com special. This is like just under $30 American or something like that, but... Oh, there it is. I think uh, I don't like it, though. I will say one thing. Um, what makes it the, the so cheapness is... And I read some of these comments, and <laughs> people are complaining about uh, this cylinder here snapping off because that weld down in the corner there is uh, not very substantial. So, I mean, I mean, if you just take a look in there, seriously... They expect that to hold. I guess that's what you get for a $30 part. You could go to Subaru and spend a lot more and probably get the correct one. But uh, notice that meh, these will pop out of here. Meh. So I don't melt them because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get into that corner as best I can. And uh, weld it better. And if you look on the inside, it's kind of tough to tell. They did get some penetration in there, but, uh, man, that's just not a very big weld, and, uh, you know how we like to power shift, you know what I'm saying. Now, before I go ahead and start welding like a crazy person, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to weld with that coating on there, so I'm just gonna get in there the best I can with some sandpaper. I'm really only gonna be welding on here and on this side, and then to keep from melting the plastic bushings in here, I have a wet rag that I'm going to try my best to uh, uh, sink the heat out of that weld near those bushings so it doesn't melt them because that would uh, just put us right back in the same boat and have a very sloppy shifter once again. But then it's only a waste of $30 instead of, well, who knows, maybe even the Subaru one's cheaper. I didn't even look, didn't do my research. My bad. All right, got a little wet rag kind of wrapped around the near those whoa near those bushings there easy on the welder Okay Will this function we don't know We're gonna learn today Well, I don't know how to do this exactly without uh, hurting it Shit, we're just gonna go for it Easy welder all right, I got my handy dandy Harbor Freight, pretty much everything. Yeah, see how stupid I am? I'll just put my fingers right on there, see if it's hot. Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna hit it one good weld here, and then I got my garden hose right outside there, and I am going to soak this part as soon as I get it, you know, welded. Like, I'm gonna move with the quickness, hopefully, and this will be okay. We will find out. We're learning together. Well, seemed to work. Didn't melt the bushings. Let's, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to weld the other side too. Screw it. We're on a roll at this point. Not totally destroyed anything, so, uh, yeah, game on. The only thing I can think to test the strength is go ahead and chuck this up in a vise. As you can see, the burr bushing stayed in good intact. We did good. We did not melt them. I'm just gonna take this in here and I'd say we're pretty strong. 
All right, off camera real quick, I just added a couple more little welds in here and then I want you guys to just see how terrible that looks now. Horrible, horrible looking welds. Does not matter, don't care. Was doing it a little sketchily anyway, but let's see if I can get a view on the inside here. Come on now. But there we go, now I can see it. You can definitely tell I got a lot more penetration in there than what the original one was, so I'm thinking we're good to go now. Let's, uh, geez, it looks like terribleness. Should probably throw some paint on that. This is a Subaru after all. Might as well paint it with this. Wow, that's terrible. Don't care, just get the welds nice and painted. La da 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 Alrighty, we're waiting on the paint to dry on that shifter piece there. So I'm just gonna bring in the Subaru and start tearing it apart. And the paint should be dry by the time it's time to put it back in. Alright guys, I gotta show you how sloppy this shifter is. It is insanely sloppy. Okay, so neutral you know you got your normal neutral well i'm not actually moving anything that's the amount of play and just so you believe me okay you can hear it going in gear first gear that's in gear guys that is in first there's second not even kidding that's what it is yeah yeah, so uh, third and fourth are real fun to find. And yeah, when you look up in here, you can definitely notice that's where all your slop comes from. And that's the left and right on the shifter, and in and out equally is wrecked. So, and I've already modified this previously. Normally, there's a roll pin right where that bolt would be, and. I'm not sure on the factory one what this looks like, but that has to be, that one can stay. That one gets replaced. It's really hard to see. Go to the back. And it's, the other nut is right there. Right there. It's hard to see. Right there. And there's the old one. As you can see, it's uh, dead. I fixed it with door bushings, though, for temporary. And then just ran a big bolt through it. But uh, clearly, not what we want. And before I put this together, probably want to put a little grease in there. And by a little, I mean a lot. Good enough for the girls I go out with. All right, there it is. There's a tiny bit of play just from the, uh, with that input shaft, into, or whatever you want to call it, shifter input shaft. Just a little slop just from the age of it. So there is a tiny bit, but she's in there pretty good. I feel like I could tighten that up a little more and get it out of there. But for now, we're just going to worry about the way it is. All right, there it is. It's in. Still has a tiny bit of play, but nothing like it was. That's in gear. It's still got play in gear, of course, but nothing like it was. It's not going all the way over and smacking the edge of the uh, little housing there. Feels good. It is a little loose still, but I think a lot of that is the play in the actual transmission shaft there and from the little part that I showed you underneath with a little bit of play in it just because of its age. I could probably crank down like hell or put a shim or something in to correct that, but otherwise, I think we're good to go. All right, guys, there you go. Oh, let's let this car go by. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the Amazon shift yoke that I put into my Subaru, and it seemed to work just fine. Uh, when you're reading the reviews, some of the people said that it broke at that cylinder because the weld was crappy. Some people said it worked just fine. And there were some people that said it just wasn't, the shifter wasn't sitting in the orient, like a correct orientation. But mine's sitting in there, it looks straight up and down, it looks really good. 
So uh, I hope this helps you guys out with your sloppy Subaru shifter. So anyways, guys, take care and I'll see you next time.